Hi everyone and welcome to an opening of the Pokemon X and Y booster box. I um, kind of want to show this box off before I go ahead and rip it, although I can kind of start taking the shrink wrap off. This is a very nice set. It is the first um, set, I suppose. It is the first set of the X and Y. There were the X and Y trainer kits, which featured um, the Froki, Fennekin, and Chespin, but those just had a couple of cards, not necessarily a full set or what I would consider a full set. So here's a quick description of them. And I just want to get right on into opening it. If you are wondering, I do have two additional boxes to this one, and those I'll be opening up in my daily videos of three packs a day. But I wanted to have one pack box, as I usually do, that I open straight up. So we'll open one side, and then we'll go ahead and open the second side. Here's that beautiful pack art. And I don't necessarily know if the card trick is going to still work in this, but there's the code card. We shall go ahead and try. I think it was, was it 3-2? Yeah, I think that's right. All right. So bear with me while I still try to figure out the focus on this camera, but here we go. NK, Ladybug, Spritzy. Here is an energy. It's kind of nice that the energies are back in the packs. Kind of excited about that. Star you, hard charm, pretty neat card, dew blade, electrode, a reverse girder, and I definitely collect the reverse sets, so I'm excited about that, and a grump pig as a rare. Here is a mega blast toys pack. it wants to open. The code card aside. Here we have Pants H. Oh, awesome. A oh, fairy energy. Very excited about getting those. Venipede. Jigglypuff. Ladyba. Illumise. Super Potion. Hurtier. A Reverse Sarua, and a Xerneas Rare. And a Mega Venusaur pack here. In case you're wondering why I'm excited about energies, especially the fairy type energies, um, is because I like to have enough energy so other people can build decks out of them. So I always hold on to lots and lots of energies. And here is another one, metal, metal energy. I want to see, I'm kind of curious if each pack will have an energy or not. NK, Slugma, Pansage. I really like the artwork here. He's kind of hanging out with some limes or maybe they're berries, I'm not sure. Staryu, Dodrio, Muscle Band. Love the new tool cards. A red card, also a very, very funny card in terms of how it looks. Um, Mr. Mime in reverse, very nice, and a Starmie Rare. Here is a Veltal pack. And here we have Froki dancing around doing rain dance or something. Bunnelby, Sandile, Voltorb, Skiddo, Quilladin, Super Potion, Professor Sycamore, a Reverse Dunsparce, very nice, and a Stout Plant. So this pack did not have an energy, so it's not necessarily each pack that will have one. Which is a good thing, because I think that would get a little boring. Also new on these packs that I just noticed, um, it says 6 plus there. They're recommending how old you should be to play the card game. Kind of being able to read is a must, I would say, because otherwise you don't even know what the cards do. And here we have Timber. Fennekin, so cute. My preference, of course. A Grass Energy. Pikachu, so glad he got reprinted. Very cute printing, too, in terms of the artwork. Beautiful. Pansage. Double colorless energy. That one got reprinted as well. Very nice. Diggersby. 
Shauna. A reverse Mac Cargo, which is also a rare. Very nice. And our first holo. And it is Fru Fru. And what's pretty cool is um, they have changed the holographic pattern, which was kind of hinted at with the trainer kits, but beautiful, beautiful holographic pattern. I was not a fan of the black and white holographic pattern, so this is awesome. Very happy about that. Let me get him into a sleeve. Okay. That's five packs in and only one hollow, so hopefully you can turn that around and get some more here. This is a chest pin, Fighting Energy, Swirlix, Phantom, Lillipup, Professor's Letter. I really like this artwork with the letter and the seal. Lunatone, Soul Rock, a Reverse Spewpaw, and a Malmar. I actually really, really like this card. Um, the attack, at least the mental trash attack at the top. It says your opponent flips four coins for each tails. He or she discards a card from his or her hand. So it could be pretty devastating, especially if you're playing it with that um, red card where your opponent shuffles and draws four cards. And if they're unlucky enough, they might have to even discard all four. So very interesting. And it might be a deck that I want to just try out for fun. And the next pack. And of course, that gets this trainer would work well there too. And this is Ponyard, Timber, Fennekin, Grass Energy, Pikachu, Elmise, Cassius, Evo Soda, also a wonderful trainer that I do like a lot. A Reverse Cloister, which is a rare, and awesome, our first EX, and it is a Blastoise EX. He looks so cool. Uh, very nice. As far as I know, I don't think there are any secret rares, so I would be very excited for all the EXs that I pull. Blastoise especially. Hoping I'll also get to Venusaur. And there is a Sandile, Diglett, Jigglypuff, Shelter, Phantom, Cassius, Electrode, Hard Charm, a Reverse Skiddo, and a Rare Swallow. Not pulling a lot of hollows. Maybe they're all bunched up somewhere. At least we got an EX, so I'm very happy about that already. And Doduo, Pumpkaboo, Jigglypuff singing into a microphone flower, so to speak, Slugma, Honage, Max Revive, NK. Also, really like this, um, especially with that Malamar. Um, because the upside down evolution. So if he's confused, you can just pretty much evolve him and his attack confuses him and the active, um, the other active Pokemon. So very cool. Definitely want to try that deck out. Frogadier, reverse roller skates, and a med cargo rare. We have Weedle, Rhyhorn, Bidoof, Spoink, Ponyard, Brakeson, Croc Croc, Muscle Band, E Reverse Hurrier. Love the colorless reverse pattern. And awesome, here's another hollow. It's a Delphox hollow. Beautiful card. I love the Mystic Fire ability, which lets you. And draw until you have six cards in your hand once a turn. Very nice. And actually, I really like the blaze ball as well. Great attack. Let's 
especially if you have a way to accelerate your fire energy attachment. Didoff, Skiddo, Pansier, Honech, Spoink, Shadow Circle, Inke, Quilladin, a Reverse Fletchinder, and a Rare Bibril. And here we have Ponyard, Timber, Fennekin, Grass Energy, I haven't gotten energy for a while, Pikachu, Dunsparce, Evo Soda, Brakeson, a Reverse Spoink, and a Rare Cloister. I thought I'd already gotten that one, but that was Starmie. And the next card pack. This is a Diglett. Taylor. Atkins. Lilpa. Doduo. Diggersby. Ladian. Very pretty card. Mr. Mime, a reverse Del Caddy, and a rare semi pour. Really hoping to pull some more hollows, otherwise, I'm going to be pretty disappointed in this hollow pull rate. And here is Doe Duo. Pumkaboo, Jigglypuff, Slugma, Honage, Kakuna, Corsola, Rainbow Energy. Also so glad this card is back. It provides any energy, but um, when you attach it to a Pokemon, you put one damage counter on them. So there's a trade-off. Here's a Reverse Slugma and a Solipede Rare. We have Sandile, Diglett, Taylor, Atkins, Lilpup, Shauna, Volby, Cassius, a Reverse Spritzy, and another hollow, thankfully, is a Green Ninja. Beautiful. I love that hollow pattern. Looks like a wave is coming at him. And we only have three packs left on this side. Swirlix. Scatterbug. Doduo. Munnelby. Pumkaboo. Shadow Circle. Kakuna, Corsola. Uh oh, we see something good poking out there. Here is a reverse Bibril and our first full art beautiful Yveltal EX. That looks wonderful. Its first attack is also pretty cool. It's kind of similar to Mewtwo. Um, the only difference is it does a base of 20 damage and then does 20 more damage for each for the, uh, times the number of energy cards attached, both active Pokemon. So just for starters, just for having those two attached, that's 2, 4, and 60 damage, even if the other Pokemon doesn't have any. Pretty cool. Definitely a card I'm going to be trying to play in a deck. And I think it looks beautiful in that black and purple.
Here we have Scatterbug, Weedle, Rhyhorn, Bidoof, Spoink, Great Ball, Spupa, Dewblade, beautiful Reverse Malmar, and awesome, a Hollow Talonflame. Also like that first attack, the devastating win that your opponent shuffles his or hand, hand, her hand into his deck and draws four cards. So that's pretty neat. Kind of liking the idea of being a destructive deck. I think that's my next deck. Here is a Fairy Energy. Venipede. Jigglypuff. Ladybug, Sandile, Delcaddy, Fairy Garden, Warlipede, a Reverse Red card, and a Conkledur Rare. So, to quickly recap um, what we've pulled in the first half of the box, there is a Full Art Yveltal EX, beautiful, a Blastoise EX, Hollow Talonflame, Hollow Greninja, Hollow Delphox, and a Hollow Frufru. So, in total, that makes it four hollows and two ultra rares, or if you just want to count them all as hollows, that would make it six and 18 packs, which I guess does work out to a one in three pack chance of pulling a holographic card, but still seems kind of low. I don't know why, but. Maybe it's because we're so used to the legendary treasures and having so many different hollows and radiant collection hollows that maybe six in 18 seems kind of low, but it is the standard. So pretty nice. I'm very happy about having the Yveltal. Hope you guys enjoy this part of the opening. Make sure you come back and see part two. I'll see you back for it then.